and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to talk more about Docker. I did another video on Docker before. You can check out that video in the description. Uh, but we're gonna, today we're going to talk about why you should always run Docker with dash dash rm. Um, I don't know why this isn't the default. It really grinds my gears. Um, but it's a really easy mistake to make, and so hopefully you will notice the same problem, and I'll actually show you how to clean up the problem as well. Uh, so let's jump into it. Okay, so when you're starting a Docker container, you usually that do that with either Docker run or Docker start or Docker create. Um, but we're just going to be using Docker run today because that's kind of the, the basic way that you'll do that. Uh, and here's the flags that I almost always use when I am doing Docker run. Uh, the first flag of that is dash uh, ti, which is actually two separate options combined together. Uh, the first is dash t, which makes it so I have a tty. And the second is dash i, which makes it interactive. Without this, uh, I wouldn't be able to type it like a terminal or whatever. Uh, and the other option is the dash dash rm option. I'm actually gonna leave that out so I can demonstrate what I'm talking about today. But hopefully by the end of this, I will have convinced you that you always wanna use this option. Um, and then you'll list the image. So we'll say Ubuntu focal, and then the executable that we will run around. So in this case, we're gonna run bash. And this will start our container. You'll see we're now in a container here and we're running bash. Um, there's a command that allows you to see all running containers. And so that command is docker ps. And so if you, you know, have this container running, you can see that we are currently running this you know, Ubuntu focal with the command bash. And it's been up for 11 seconds. Oh, if you can't see that, it's off screen. Uh, it has been running for, now it's 24 seconds, but anyway. You can see all the commands or all the containers that are running with Docker PS. And when you exit the container, uh, that running container goes away. Except it doesn't. <laughs> There's actually a dash A argument to PS, which will show you all containers that exist and may or may not be running. And so this particular container here, even though we've finished it and it is stopped and exited, uh, the container still hangs around here because we didn't specify dash dash RM. Uh, let me show you the same example, but we're going to do dash dash rm here. We start this, you'll see that we now have two containers. One is this exited one, but also we have this one that's running. And when we exit this one, now the one that we did rm goes away permanently. And the reason this is a problem is Docker keeps around a bunch of bookkeeping as well as disk usage for running containers. Um, and this can, you know, over time cause your machine to fill up its disks. Uh, the number of times that I've <laughs> SSH'd into a production machine and noticed, oh, we're out of disk space. Wonder why we're out of disk space? Oh, it's because of Docker. It's because somebody forgot to do dash dash rm and ran a bunch of containers in a loop and then eventually filled up the disks. Uh, but yeah, hopefully <laughs> hopefully you should always, always run with rm. Now, there's this command that you can use to clean up all dangling images, containers, and other things. Uh, which will, you know, eliminate these ones that you forgot to. Otherwise, you can go through and, you know, manually grab this and do docker rm this. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of annoying. I'd rather use the automatic command. And the command for that is docker system prune. Uh, and we'll leave out dash f and you can see the prompt. But I usually do docker system prune dash f and dash f will just answer yes to this prompt. Uh, but we're going to manually do it. So showing you force commands is not always the best idea. But you can see here that it has taken that C1963 container and it has deleted it. So, uh, But if I would have ran it with dash rm, I wouldn't need to go back and clean stuff up here. But anyway, hopefully this was useful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.